Hello, amazing healers. Today I'm going to talk about hosted platforms compared to a self-hosted site. So what these are are website builders. They are strictly website builders. They don't, they're not like an all-in-one. And I'm going to talk about what, what the advantages are and the disadvantages to see which one is right for you. Okay, stay tuned to hear more. This is Anastasia. I used to be a physics professor specializing in vibrational and quantum physics. After recovering from a serious illness using energy healing on myself, the calling to heal became so strong that I had to quit my 40-year research career. I replaced my six-figure professor salary within five months using a simple but not easy three-step system that I worked out to grow my healing practice. Now I help other healers grow their practices whether they're just starting or already have a practice with this same three-step system. I'm all about helping you to listen in to learn more. And I'm so glad you're here. And so these are, as healers, we want to make things really easy and most healers, not all of them, <laughs> But most healers are not that cons or don't want to get that involved in their tech. They just want something really simple. And that's why creating your own website on Wix or Squarespace or Weebly or GoDaddy or WordPress.com, not .org. .org is the self-hosted platforms like I talked about last time, but .com. And there are advantages and disadvantages to these. So the advantages to these is that the traffic, the, the speed is well controlled. Most of these sites are fast. You could end up, for example, for, with a self-hosted site, you could end up with a very slow platform. And I run, ran into that problem when uh, AIG was buying up everything and they had bought up HostGator and I was on HostGator and my website got so slow it took a full minute for my page to come up and I called to complain about them and then they blamed me. <laughs> so I immediately left them and I went to GoDaddy and I haven't had a, a problem since. But I'm leaving GoDaddy to go to an all-in-one platform for everything and it's going to take a while to transfer basically 10 years of content but uh, the self-hosted the hosted platform like those I just named Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, GoDaddy, WordPress now these there are more of them so this is not an, uh, an all-inclusive list there are places where you could put online blogs like Blogger or Medium or Tumblr, which are mini blogs, but I'm not talking about that. They have traffic there already that is a, a good advantage for you, but these other places you can put up your own website with your own URL, meaning your own website address like you know, www.yourname.com or www.yournamehealer.com, uh, whatever it is, right? So these are places that you can do that with. And um, the other nice thing about being able to control or being able to have a very fast website is they also stop all the hacking, right? They are pretty secure. They might get hacked once in a while, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about taking care of everything. And I'm not sure whether they do backups, but I can't imagine them not doing backups, right? So these are some of the advantages. Um, they start at free. So except for Wix, which I didn't find a free plan, but except for Wix, all of the others that I named those five all of the others have a free plan that you can start with and try it out and see whether their website builder works, right? And so um, 
And so here are some of the advantages. You don't have to pay extra for hosting. The only thing you have to pay for is your URL and meaning your website address. And some of those places will help provide one for you when you pay a yearly fee. Um, aside from the speed, there is also a very simple drag and drop interface. So it's easy to build a website. You start with a template and you start changing the colors and then you can drag in your own elements and things like that. So when you do something like that, one of the things that I suggest is that you look at somebody else's website, you know, somebody else who you are either following or who you think is doing really well and look to see what elements they have on there, right? You can even go and look at my page and see whether you like it or not. And you can then recreate whatever it is you see. Um, <clears throat> and the templates that, they, that come, especially in the paid programs, you can modify them and change all the colors so you don't have to start from scratch. And you don't have to pay extra for SSL, which is secured. It's a secure socket layering, I think is the, what SSL stands for. But what it, what it means is all websites now have to have HTTPS in front of them instead of just HTTP. And what that means is that it's secure. If you don't have that, a lot of browsers will block that person from going onto the site and saying, whoa, it's not secure, <laughs> even though you don't have anything that's dangerous on there. But what it does is it allows you to have that. And it blocks hacking attacks and uh, denial of service issues. And learning it is way easier than setting up a self-hosted WordPress site, right? It's way easier. The Minimal disadvantages of any of these sites are is that the cost, right? So depending on what it is you need, the cost is uh, can be higher because you can get a hosted a hosted site for about six to ten dollars a month, and you get your URL for fifteen to twenty dollars a year, and that's kind of like your only cost unless you have a paid a paid plugin, right? And then you um, and the other, <clears throat> the other disadvantage would be that there is a limited amount of functionality on what each of those offers. Some of them, like WordPress.com, have a lot more functionality than you normally would expect at and one of these sites. But I found it, out of all of those, because I played with all of them, I found it the most difficult to use. Right, it's just, I just kept trying to make things look the way I wanted it to, and I found it a lot more difficult to use than uh, some of the others. So um, it, you can go on there because uh, they tried to make it work just like a WordPress.org site, and that's not also not the easiest to use. So those are the disadvantages and um, one of the advantages to, for example, using an all-in-one is you don't have to have a separate email service. You don't have to have a separate, um, you know, uh, some of them have their own shopping carts. You don't have to have a separate shopping cart, meaning people can buy things uh, off of your site. Let's say you have, uh, you want to sell your healing services. You don't need to go elsewhere to do it. They can buy it right off your website. And I think some of the other platforms do have that, but those are some of the advantages to having an all-in-one. And then when you start looking at the costs as you grow your business, an all-in-one generally will be cheaper when you start piecing everything together. So for me, the speed and the security makes a big, huge difference because I pay $30 a month for my security on my uh, website, uh, you know, my WordPress.org website, which is scientifichealer.com. 
um, I had to buy the theme because I wanted a flexible theme and I love the theme. It works great. The theme I use is, um, is from Elegant Themes. It's called Divi, D-I-V-I. And I love the theme because it is drag and drop and they continually modify it all the time. So there's always something new on the horizon, something that makes it really simple. And I only use minimal plugins because of that theme. So there are advantages to it. And I think the, the theme looks beautiful. My problem with it is that I have to pay a lot of money a month for the security. And I also have to pay uh, $20 a month because I want, it's a business website and I want a little more speed than the normal eight to $10 per month hosting. So I hope that was a good summary for you. Again, the advantages are, uh, <clears throat> are it's an all-in-one package. So you, uh, not an all-in-one, it's uh, your website builder. Right? So those website builders, you can start for free and try them out. They have templates. You can alter them. They're, there is limited functionality. There were things I tried to do and I couldn't do them. You have to get a separate email service and connect the two and things like that. Those are some of the disadvantages. So I hope that was helpful for you and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for taking valuable time out of your day to listen in. If you found this message helpful, please help spread the word by giving the broadcast a thumbs up or a five star rating, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to my channel with your notifications on. For further training on healing and growing your healing business using my three-step system, go to www.highpaidhealers.com and I'll see you in the next video.